Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today in this video, we are going to discuss on project reporting and analysis with Odoo 15 project module. To generate a report, first we have to create project and task. So in our earlier videos, we have already discussed about it. So to get no more about it, you can just uh, refer our Cybrosis YouTube channel. Once the employees start working on project, we can start our reporting process also. So here we have a separate menu named reporting and it is to ease reporting operation. And when we click on this option, we will get the task analysis, timesheet and planning analysis and also you can see the customer rating. So we can go through all of this. First, we can choose the task analysis option. So while clicking on it, here we can see the graphical view and this is the bar chart representation of the analysis. So when we click on the measures, we can see the graphical representation is based on the count and we can choose days to deadline, effective hours, plan hours, progress, rating value and so on. And here we have the line chart and also we can see the pie chart. And here we have the uh, sorting option as descending and ascending way. And here we can see the customizable features like filters, group by and the favorites. And also here we can see the pivot view. And here we can see the number of count, planned hours, effective hours and the remaining hours. So when we click on the plus icon, we can see the option to uh, view according to project stage, assignees, custom or deadline. And also we can see the option to add custom group here. Here we have the option to insert in the spreadsheet. So while clicking on it, we will get the confirmation window. So while clicking on the confirm, it will direct to the spreadsheet. Here we have the flip access, expand all option and also you can see the download option. Now we can analyze timesheet and planning also as the same way we did the task analysis. So the difference is we will be analyzing the project based on the timesheet here. So here we can see that uh, the timesheet and planning analysis is in the pivot view. Apart from this, here we have the graph view also. So here in the pivot, we can choose different measures like effective hours, planned hours, remaining hours and also you can choose the count here. And here we can choose the filters like my team, my project, my task. And here we have the option to uh, set it according to the date and also you can see the option to add custom filter. And here we have the option to group it according to employee, task, project, sales order, sales order item, date, etc. And when we comes to the favorite, here we have the timesheet versus planning option. And here we have the option to link menu in spreadsheet, add to my dashboard and also you can see the option to add to Google spreadsheet. And here we have the graphical representation of timesheet and planning analysis. Next we can go to the customer ratings. So here we can see the customer ratings that have already created. And here we can see that uh, the filtering is done based on the last 30 days. So we can choose the filters like my ratings, satisfied, okay, dissatisfied. And also you can choose the today last, uh, last seven days and submit a date, etc. And here we have the group by option and also you can see the favorite option. Apart from the Kanban view, here we have the list view, pivot view and also you can see the graph view. So while choosing the list view, you can see the uh, details like submit a date, assigned person, customer, project, task and also you can see the rating like satisfied and dissatisfied. And here we have the pivot view for the customer rating and also here we can see the graph view. So here we can see the ra uh, rating value. So this is how Odo project reporting help us to analyze the task and project to improve the performance of the company. So that's all about the video. Thank you for watching.